Hi, in this video we're going to cover how to install Pro modules. Pro module is simply an add-on for Pro, adds functionality. Um, Pro developer, you're almost certainly going to run into a time when you need functionality that's not included in the in, in, in the base or in the core Pro package. Pro has been around since the mid-80s. Odds are pretty good somebody's written somebody's written a module that does exactly what you need it to. We'll cover how to how to install those. You do this in point of view of the Pro user. Maybe that you have a Pro program you've downloaded or somebody's written it for you, and which I have here. I've written it. And you go to run it. You invoke a Pro program by typing Perl, then the name of the Perl source file. This is that uh, storage facility manager I've been writing. And you run into an error message like this can't locate date manip.pm and include. Uh, what's happened is the Perl source file is calling for a Perl module that's not installed on this machine and it's and it's complaining about that. Okay, so we're using Active Perl. We're going to invoke the Perl package manager. It's a custom utility for Active Perl for downloading Perl modules. And you do that just by typing ppm. Okay, and you give it a minute to sync. Okay, then along this bar here, you type the button on the far left, or click the far button on the far left, which is view all packages. Search bar. Okay, we're looking for date manip, so we're just going to type. You don't need to type that slash. You just look for the text. And you look for the package that most closely matches that name, which there does happen to be a package called date manip. And see from the column here, it's not installed. Version 6.51 is available. So, back to this uh, bar here. Click the uh, button labeled Mark for Install. Then the right arrow icon, which is Run Marked Actions. Yes. Okay. And you can uh, go in here, it shows the status. It's still working. Okay. Okay, and according to this, that package is now installed. There you are. Okay, close PPM. Okay, and we try the. Okay, and we try to invoke the source again. Okay, it's griping because there are there's more than one module uh, uh, needed by this program. I've made a list of them here, so you don't have to go through this uh, step every time. But for th this case here, you say it's uh, looking for a module called Time Moment. So we can invoke PPM again. still remembers that all packages are selected and go and you type in the search bar time moment. There, that's time moment. The package is exactly called that. Okay, and I said I've already listed the packages my app uh, needs to run, so I'm just going to go through that here instead of uh, going through and showing each individual error message when it can't load them. So. Like that one. Oh, oops, where'd you go? There it is. Um, okay. Then And 
like that. Okay, let's look at packages. Okay, now we're going to select Run Marked Actions. Yes, ah, there we go. And this may take a moment. its work. Okay, so it's out of status. And it appears to be done. Ta da! And my prolateral prol uh, database client is up and running. Our long necessary module has been installed, which will conclude this video, and thank you for watching.